All right, so it's done. We just got back from uh, Panama City Beach. I wanted to give a uh, rundown of uh, my 1200 blaster. Um, it did perfect in the surf and uh, yeah, it survived me. So anyways, it's uh, it was pretty beat when I got it. Uh, the, the hull's pretty beat up. Anyways, uh, there's my homemade um, three and a half exhaust. Uh, it's loud. It comes back to about right here. Uh, and it hooks up with uh, the factory GP1200 um, rubber. Um, I used a Wave Runner 3 uh, cone there because it doesn't have the little pisser. Um, a lot of salt on the old ride plate. No idea how old it is. Um, this little thing's great, man. It drains, works perfect. Uh, coming back, um, can't see much. You can see some pool noodles in there. There's the factory GP1200 uh, rubber hose. It's uh, connected to the uh, Wave Rider 1100 box. So that's an easy thing to do. Um, I went ahead, this is a GP1200 cooling. That's where the uh, hose goes in uh, for running it on the hose. Um, I thought that was a good little location for it. So uh, anyways, battery box. I need to move that lower, get as much weight down as you can. Um, that's uh, now the bilge water. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, if you, when you drill through the firewall, drill a five inch hole and then put some chafe wrap on there. I did that and I've had no problem with it, um, chafing. Uh, make sure you change out your 1200 motor to a um, 701 or 760, whatever, three prong uh, uh, PTO there to hook up to the factory um, wave blaster mid shaft. Um, I got just all stock electronics, but uh, jet ski solutions wires. Um, just rebuilt the Makunis um, with uh, some eBay old old school ocean pros. The motor run one pistol. This one goes outboard to, uh, over the side, and this one actually goes over the side too. Factory GP. This would have ran all the way to the back. Um, I run it. It actually runs to right here. Uh, I'm actually using the uh, factory wave blaster cable. I cut down the bracket. Um, you got to cut down one barb down there on the bottom. I would have rather, I, I should have cut off all this. I wasn't thinking. Um, okay, this thing loves fuel. So, yeah, luckily my wife's old Sea Dew. Uh, it's great because we brought some extra fuel so we could ride uh, far away and uh, still carry some fuel for the blaster. Coming up, um, it just uses a Wave Blaster 2 steering cable. Not much anything fancy. Had to, the Rad Dudes had to block off the plate there. And uh, Rad Dudes also supplied whatever bracket that is. I don't know what company, but um, it says Tobe Tech or something. I don't know, but it works good. I uh, got the steering all straightened out. Anyways, um, not much else to report. Just a pretty much bone stock 65U. Uh, had the head, you know, milled just a little bit. Um, played with the carbs to get them some specs. I got another uh, 1200, so I was familiar with the motor. In fact, I just picked up this one this weekend. Look at that beautiful, salty, nasty, blown rear piston 65U. Can't get enough of them. So, um, yeah, that's her. Not much else to see. Just a pretty much good running. It's loud as sin, so I'm just going to go ahead and start her up. She's a little smoky right now. Um, I'm at 40 to 1. Uh, I'll end up going to 50 to 1. Uh, when I'm more comfortable. I like like I said, I got this motor for next to nothing. I think I paid 400 bucks for a GP 1200 old wave runner 3 and a double trailer and they were all in shit condition and This uh, this engine though proved to be a good runner. So all right, that is a beat up old blaster with some uh, new life in it